I'm so excited to make this mini caramel apple pie drip cake. It's the perfect recipe for fall. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see me make more drip cakes and let me show you how to make it. First, I'm gonna make my apple pie filling for in between the layers of my cake. So to a saute pan, melt some butter on medium high heat. Once the butter has melted, add in your diced apples, sugar, and cinnamon, and mix everything together to make sure all the apples are coated in the sugar and cinnamon. I'm just gonna let that cook for about two to three minutes so that the fruit begins to release its juices. Then I'm gonna add three quarters of my water to the pan and bring the mixture to a low simmer. To the rest of my water, I'm gonna add in my cornstarch and mix together until smooth. I'm gonna cook the apples until they are just fork tender, but not mushy. Then I'm gonna add the cornstarch mixture to the apples and cook for about a minute or two more until the mixture thickens up. I'm just going to let that cool and thicken up more until I get my cake ready. So I'm just layering a standard vanilla cake, spreading a thin layer of cream cheese frosting on the bottom of each layer of the cake, making a well with the cream cheese, and then filling in that well with my completely cooled apple pie filling. Then continue with the rest of your layers. For full instructions on how to ice this cake, please make sure to watch my how to decorate a cake with cream cheese frosting video, which is linked below. Then I made some homemade caramel, or you can use store-bought, whatever you prefer. I will also link that video below. I'm just adding my caramel to a bowl to cool a bit, and then dipping my mini apples into the caramel and setting them on some wax paper. To my ice cake, I'm going to add my room temperature caramel to the top of my cake, and then let it drip down the sides. Then you can use any toppings you like. I'm using some pie crumble, and then adding my caramel apples on top. Then just place it back in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that we have access to all of my videos, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye, my lovelies.